Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories we've been working on for today's show. Students and staff of O.M. Irwin Middle School in Swift Current were treated to a mini-concert on Wednesday. The village of Hodgeville is a quaint community just south of the Trans-Canada Highway. But on this particular weekend, visitors stopped by the local community centre. And once through the doors, were taken aback by a breathtaking decor of Christmas. The Swift Current Cop was a hub of activity as the cast of the latest drama production put the finishing touches on their makeup and wardrobe. Thanks for joining us here today. A provincial tour promoting anti-bullying made a stop over in Swift Current. We have more in today's top story. Students and staff of O.M. Irwin Middle School in Swift Current were treated to a mini-concert on Wednesday with SEMA award winner and CCMA nominee Cody Prevo and world-renowned singer-songwriter Stephen McGuire. The entertainers brought their Imagine No Bullying tour to the Southwest, which has been on the road since mid-November. Prevo and McGuire debuted their new song, Let Love Conquer All, at the Imagine No Bullying kickoff event in Saskatoon, and now brought this song to the local stage while sharing their own personal experiences. Well, the thing about it is, I mean, I grew up pretty much in a civil war, you know, and it's one of those things that's very important. I mean, you know, you grow up and you just can't get away from the bullying, you know what I mean, no matter where you are. So the thing is for us, it was because of the colours we wore, because we all had school uniforms, right? So immediately because of the, the crest on my blazer, I was a Catholic. So you find yourself in the city centre getting, like, your target, right? And you kind of think, that's so strange, having not opened your mouth, right? All of a sudden you're a target. So when I came here, you know, it just seemed, especially in the last six months, really concentrated, kids taking their own lives. And, you know, it's front page of every newspaper and you just think, this is crazy. I mean, my son will be two in January, and you think, you know what, I really don't want him to be thinking, how am I going to walk from school when it comes to time? Childhood memories, which Archwell-born Prevo was also expressing to the audience. You know, growing up, I was about 14 years old. I, you know, experienced bullying. It was after school. It was in the bathrooms. It was on the school bus. It was everywhere you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't regularly see things happen. And, you know, it's just, I remember it being really, really tough to talk to anybody about it. And that's, you know, we got the Red Cross with us, uh, a gal named Jeannie Buon's on this tour with us. Just an incredible girl. And so she's been a, a real, real help because it's, it's somewhere for people to talk to if they don't think they can talk to a teacher, if they don't think they can talk to a parent. Because I know it's not always an easy thing to, to come out and, and talk about these experiences. So, you know what, there's just more avenues to, to try to improve this situation. And as the duo continued with their individual music sets and often including audience participation, McGuire and Prevo also had a hard-hitting message of being kind and respectful to others, believing in oneself and going after your dreams, a motto which rings home for that of Irwin School. Part of our vision is being respectful and belonging together. And uh, we talk to the kids a lot about bullying and being proactive to, to the situation and, and just knowing that uh, having a presentation like today that connects with our vision uh, was an important part for our kids to be able to see that we do what we say and, and, and that having a concert with music uh, being an integral part of that piece is a message that, that really has an impact on kids. As the Imagine No Bullying Tour rounds out the first stretch of its tour in Saskatchewan, plans are to get back on the road visiting additional schools in Saskatchewan and Alberta over the next several years. The Imagine No Bullying Tour has been on the road across Saskatchewan since mid-November, with proceeds from the public concerts going towards the Canadian Red Cross and their anti-bullying campaign across the province. Wishing you and yours a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from David Anderson, Member of Parliament for Cypress Hills Grasslands. Wishing the citizens of Swift Current the very best this holiday season and into the new year from Mayor Schaefer, City Council and staff of the City of Swift Current. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Board, Management and staff of Innovation Credit Union.
The spirit of Christmas shines through in the community of Hodgeville, thanks to a unique event held every year. The village of Hodgeville is a quaint community just south of the Trans-Canada Highway. With only a few amenities to offer, the village is often only passed through as travelers go on to larger centers. But on this particular weekend, visitors stopped by the local community center. And once through the doors, were taken aback by a breathtaking decor of Christmas. The Night Jesus Was Born showcases a variety of nativity scenes created of wood, glass, ceramics, and other mediums. All handmade or donated from a personal collection. Row upon row of treasured nativity scenes delicately displayed, bringing a smile to the many patrons through the center. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Like, no two are the same. And, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. The fifth annual event began in a local church and now grown over the years to the local community center with over 500 nativity figurines. A treasured experience for newcomers to the event while bringing back childhood memories for some in the crowd. These girls do fantastic work here. This takes them forever to set up. They're here like a week before and they get help from all over the place and it's just fantastic. They, it's, they do, and some of the collections here are just amazing really. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, that one over there in particular, we had one like that when I was a kid, just like that, with the, the nativity scene there. So, you know, stuff like that, it just kind of, it kind of makes you feel good coming in. And as the many guests from across the Southwest took in the displays and enjoyed coffee and holiday treats, volunteers encouraged them to invite their friends to experience this Christmas treasure year after year. And you'll take something back with you, whether it's some of your own stories, of Christmas, whether it's looking at the artwork and saying, wow, I could do this, or that's amazing. Those are some of the things that they will take away with them. The Night Jesus Was Born is an annual community-inspired event in Hodgeville, held during the first weekend of December. W.W. Smith Insurance has reached a milestone as it celebrates its centennial. Having served Southwest Saskatchewan for the past 100 years, W.W. Smith Insurance is your motor license issuer, while specializing in all of your personal and commercial needs, including home, auto, agro, business, and life insurance. W.W. Smith Insurance, independently owned and operated since 1913. Season's greetings and the best in the coming year from Yogi Hugo Bear, MLA for Wood River. Yeah, Wishing you and yours a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Mayor Sharon Dickey, Council, and staff of the town of Shonovan. Wishing you the best this holiday season and into the new year from the town of Maple Creek, Southwest Saskatchewan's hub for holiday shopping and dining. Aspiring actors took to the stage of the Swift Current Cop High School in their latest production. Our Southwest TV News crew was there and we bring you all the highlights. The Swift Current Cop was a hub of activity as the cast of the latest drama production put the finishing touches on their makeup and wardrobe. Adjustments were made to the set and audio checks were completed. And following a musical intro, the family favorite, The Wizard of Oz, came to life on the local stage a production which has taken on new challenges for the crew this year. This year we tried to put together a very technically great show, uh, well-acted production and the musical element. This is the biggest orchestration we've done, probably one of the biggest orchestrations you'll see in a high school setting and it's pretty exciting. We tried to incorporate, uh, instead of doing painted backdrops, we're doing projections and uh, I'm really excited about how they turned out. And for the actors on stage, the many hours of rehearsals combined with their regular school workload has all been worth the effort. It's such a rush. <laughs> I love performing on stage and uh, it's very rewarding, especially when, uh, when people enjoy it and, you know, they're having, if they're having a good time, well, uh, people on stage are also having a good time. Yeah, we haven't had very long to work on it at all, actually. You're practicing here, you're practicing at home. It's all the time. <laughs> and for Sierra Francis, who has aspirations of becoming an engineer, 
The role of Glenda and Aunt M is one she'll treasure for years to come. Well, I think live theater is such a cool thing because we do live kind of in a time where we don't do a lot of things face to face. So live theater is kind of this experience where there's so many people and it's everyone's energy in the room. It's a pretty powerful thing. It's kind of cool. And according to the crowd's response, the production was an overall hit. Well, all the work that goes into it, the scenes, the painting, everything, and the makeup and costumes, it's just fantastic. They had Grease a couple years ago, and uh, with that, I think they kind of set a precedence, and The Wizard of Oz is, is pretty high up there, too, so it's very good production. The Wizard of Oz is one of two showcase productions for the Swift Current Comp Drama Department during this school year. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.